guys welcome back in this video I'm going to show you how to create an IK chain for the legs uh, remember that when we rigged this character uh, we left it at all the chains FK which is forward kinematics um, and I will make another video explaining what the difference are between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics but for now uh, we just know that we want IK inverse kinematics on the legs. We're going to do, we're going to apply some inverse kinematics on the legs. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Um, the first thing I'd like to do is go to edit mode and move the knee. It's what they call a pre-bend. Move the, the knee forward a little bit, just a little bit. In fact, I'm going to move this ankle just a little bit back so that we have a bent uh, in the knee, a pre-bent. It's already pre-bent just a little, and that helps the IK figure out how we should bend this knee. In fact, let's do it for the other uh, leg. I'm going to move this hip a little bit this way, the knee a little bit this way, and then so we can have that little bent in there. Uh, the second thing I'd like to do is create helper bones, uh, control bones, and we're gonna extrude another bone from here. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna select this knee joint, hit E and X, and then create another bone there, and I'm gonna have another one here. I hit E to extrude, and then X, to extrude in the X axis. Uh, let's do one here, E to extrude, X, and then one here, E, X, right there. Let's name these. I'm gonna call this one, go to the bone properties, pole target, left, uh, and remember, you, you need to stay um, organized and name all these bones. This is pull target right. Uh, this one at the bottom, we're going to name it heel IK left copy, select the other one and then paste the name on there and then we'll just call this heel IK right. Uh, the next thing to do is to get rid of all of its parenting. Uh, for, for right now, if I try to move this bone, it's still connected to the chain, uh, to the armature. And so I'm gonna do Command P, I mean, I'm sorry, Option or Alt P, disconnect the bone. That way we can move it around but you can see it's still parented. So uh, again, option P, clear parent. And then I'm going to move it out of the way here in front of the knee. Same here with this one, option P, disconnect bone, option P, clear parent, and then GX, move it out of the way. So is this one, option P, disconnect, option P, clear parent, so is this one, option P, disconnect, option P, clear parent. All right, now we can jump into uh, pose mode. And in pose mode is where we can create the IK. Now select the shin bone. In this case, it's called leg lower left. Select it, go to the bone constraint properties and add a constraint, inverse kinematics right there. Once we've added it, you'll see that it turns uh, brown and you'll see the relationship line to the main hip, which we don't want. We want it to go to the uh, hip left. Uh, target, let's select a target. We're gonna select armature. Uh, what bone in the armature? We're gonna select heel, heel left. We're gonna target this to the heel left. Uh, and then the pole target is this pole, oh, sorry, armature. And then what bone in the armature? The pole target 
left right there the chain length is if we start moving this one around you can see that it's going to move the entire body and that's what we don't want so the the uh, chain length will be two and you can see that uh, that leg kind of went off off on a wrong angle we can change this to 180 the pole angle change it to 180 boom and it's done and we can test it by hitting grabbing the heel IK and hitting G to move and then now that a IK is looking good Z and, and so this pole vector I mean this pole target is in case you, I'm gonna hit G to move, you go beyond um, that pole uh, target, it, the knee jumps back to this. Uh, if you grab this and move it, you can control the rotation of the knee. So I'm gonna undo that, undo that, uh, and let's do it on the other leg. Select the, the lower leg right, let's add a inverse kinematics let's add a target armature oops sorry armature uh, and let's get the heel right and then let's uh, the chain will take two and then the pole target will be armature and let's select that uh, pole target right to there and let's test it let's grab this um, heel IK G to move and boom it's working again if it goes like that all you have to do is grab this pole target G and then you can control the rotation of the knee Z Z Z control Z to undo all that stuff and, and there you have it guys uh, we've created um, I'm gonna hit G uh, IK chains uh, one more thing that we need to do if you notice when we move this the foot kind of rotates along with the um, lower leg bone uh, and you want it to stay uh, you want it to stay straight and that's because if you grab this hip main hip and you move it hit G uh, and when you bend this guy you want those feet to stay on the ground and not do this uh, this type of uh, bending with in other words rotating with the, the lower leg so let's go ahead and, and fix that and the way we fix it, uh, we go back to edit mode. And basically, we're going to take this foot bone off the armature. Uh, let's uh, hit option P, disconnect, and then option P again and clear the parent. Select, well, this is selected, select the heel, and then hit command P to parent, keep offset. And so now, when we go to pose mode, and we select, oops, sorry, pose, we select this, you notice G, you notice that that foot stays at a 90 degree angle, and that helps when you grab this hip, and then you move it, you see that leg stays, that foot stays, uh, you just have to be careful not to, um, um, go too high because that foot will come off that uh, but that looks better undo than it rotating so let's see if we can do the other leg let's go to tab select this leg option p disconnect option p clear parent shift select the heel 
Command P to parent, keep offset. And now it should work. Now it's completely done. I'm gonna select the main hip and hit G to move. Oops. Obviously go to pose mode and then hit G to move and then there it is. There we go. There we have it guys. Um, IK for the feet. Now if we wanted to make them sit down like this, all we had to do is move that pole target. Move this pole target G this way. Boop. And then we can control the rotation of the knee. G. And so undo, 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 undo. And then that's it guys. Um, it's a lot easier to control the leg using IK. A lot easier to animate this character using IK. Uh, again, guys, I will do a video hopefully next uh, explaining the difference between IK and FK. For now, we've created two IK chains with some controller bones here, here, and here. And now we can animate this a lot better. Hey guys, I hope that this video has been helpful to you and I hope that you've liked it. And if you did like it, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.